sorry we're like so weirdly close yeah <laughs> hi guys so today i have uh, nikita here with me and i'm gonna use her face to show you how makeup looks on acne prone and textured skin do you want to like yes. do like a close up so she's got like a lot of texture on the skin and i just wanted to show you how i would do her base and i think this video this idea kind of culminated because it, you yourself yeah. wanted to learn right? i wanted to learn how to apply makeup because every time i did it used to look like really patchy on my skin but this doesn't so I'm yeah happy. yeah so i i really wanted to kind of uh show her and then in the process also like show you guys how makeup looks in natural light on textured skin and how you can be confident in your own skin and also learn like a few basics yes yeah so i really hope that this was helpful thank you so much for doing this thank with you. me and let's get started okay so first i'm gonna start by applying some lip balm i've got this one from laneige so i'm just gonna prep her lips so this way it gets time to sit on her lips while we do the rest of the face Then I'm going to take the Chia Seed Moisturizer and just make sure that her face is properly hydrated before we start applying the foundation. So Nikita always complains <laughs> that you know her foundation applies really really patchy. patchy yeah. yeah, And she already has like you know textured skin going in. So I think it's very important for her and for all of us to hydrate our skin really well before we do any sort of makeup. Next I'm taking this photo finish primer from Smashbox. I'm just taking a little bit on the back of my hand and uh, this is a silicone based primer so it will mattify your skin. So I'm using just a little bit on her t-zone so she has combination skin um, and this is just going to mattify any area that gets very oily for her if you want you can take like a pore minimizing primer and apply it right here or wherever you have a lot of open pores for foundation i'm going to use this one from k beauty this is the only one i had in her shade uh, this is 120y so I'm just going to take the foundation onto my sponge. This is a YBP sponge and start pressing it into her skin. I like to start with really light layers and that way you can get like a non cakey application. And you'll have to understand that with makeup, you can't really cover texture of the skin. You can cover any sort of discoloration, you can cover the redness, but texture will remain the same. Never drag the foundation like this. You're gonna get like streakiness. I always like to very softly pat the foundation into place so that we get a really nice and seamless finish. We always tend to forget the neck, so don't forget to take your foundation down here. And if you are wearing a top uh, that exposes your collarbones, make sure that you have a little bit of foundation there as well. I'm just going to spot conceal a little bit of redness here and here. And for that, I like to color correct a little bit. You can take any green corrector and I'm only using a green corrector because green can color correct red if you have light skin and there's a little bit of redness right here so i'm just going to use that and i see a little bit of redness around here so whatever is left i'm just going to do that and i'm going to use this concealer this is the clinique even better in the shade cn52 neutral and i just like to place the concealer right on top of where the color corrector is and then I like to take my sponge and gently blend that in. As you can see, the red is neutralized completely. It's so easy, right? Yeah, I finally learned how to color correct. Okay, look up for me. So 
for you i'm just gonna apply a little bit of concealer underneath your eyes so i'm not using any color corrector underneath your eyes because you don't really have that heavy darkness but if you guys do have it then please use an orange corrector look up for me now i'm just going to blend this underneath your eyes and also take a little bit on your eyelid then i'm going to take this hourglass translucent setting powder i'm just taking just a little bit to set underneath her eyes i'm trying not to powder here too much just where whatever is left in the sponge ever so slightly i'm just going to tap it so that at least the concealer and the color corrector are locked the last step is to apply some primer water just to lock everything in place that's refreshing right yeah it's yeah. the best yeah. so your base is done and as you can see it looks very natural not too cakey and what i wanted to show you guys is that if you have texture in your skin it is absolutely okay if it shows through even when you have done your foundation because makeup is it's not magic it's makeup is not filter it's basically just covering up any of the discoloration and giving you an even base